Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Abby Smith. There's a new king of Wimbledon with Carlos Alcaraz beating Novak Djokovic in an epic five-setter. Djokovic had been aiming for a fifth straight grass course title and a 24th Grand Slam title. I thought I'll have trouble with you only on clay and maybe hardcore, but not on grass. But now, <laughs> congrats. Amazing uh, way to adapt to the surface. Uh, you played maybe one or t- once or twice before this year's Wimbledon on grass and amazing. I'll have more in sport. The Royal Commission into Defence and Veteran Suicide begins a public hearing in Adelaide today. Submissions so far have highlighted issues with overseas postings, discharge processes and difficulty transitioning into civilian life. Commissioner Dr Peggy Brown says anyone can make a, make a submission. We've had 3,800 submissions today. The majority of those have been from veterans and family members, but some come from academics, some come from organisations... And we're happy to hear from anyone who has experience in this area or who has thoughts about the solutions that are needed. The local hearing will conclude on July 26. Australians who unknowingly phone known scam lines will have their calls intercepted in a country-first partnership between Optus, the Australian Financial Crimes Exchange and Big Banks. The initiative targets callback scams where customers receive an email or text message claiming there's problems with their bank account. Melbourne researchers have made a breakthrough discovery into our immune systems. It could pave the way to better treatments for cancer and highly infectious diseases such as COVID-19, strep A and tuberculosis. Extreme heat is sweeping across the globe. More than one million people are now under heat warnings across the US. While in Italy, the Health Ministry has issued a red alert for 16 cities with temperatures of up to 48 degrees. And four swimmers have been injured in dolphin attacks on a beach in central Japan. One man suffered broken ribs and bites to his hands after a dolphin rammed him yesterday. While dolphins usually are aggressive to humans, scientists have suggested that while bottlenose dolphins find swimming alongside humans incredible incredibly stressful. Entertainment and sport next. World number one Carlos Alcaraz has ended the Wimbledon reign of Novak Djokovic. The 20-year-old beat the Grand Slam legend in five sets. Djokovic is deposed as a new king of centre court. Carlos Alcaraz, he's beaten the best of all time. He's beaten a man who is virtually invincible on this court. To AFL, Richmond has kept its finals hopes alive after a win in the West over West Coast. The Tigers beating the Eagles by 38 points. The final score 14-14-98 to 8-12-60. Richmond interim coach Andrew McWalter trying to keep a lid on any finals goals. Yeah, it's a bloody even comp, isn't it? So, um, you know, the ladder position is what it is. We've just got to keep focusing on improving our footy and we'll end up where we end up. That's often where, what the ladder tells you is you, you end up where you belong. In yesterday's other game, Hawthorne beat North Melbourne by 48 points. Switching codes, three games to finish off the short week due to Origin 3 on Wednesday in the NRL. The Warriors smashed the Sharks 44-12, while the Panthers took the points against the Dolphins 24-14. And it was down to the wire for the Eels and Titans, but Parramatta held on for a one-point win. And the Aussie women have retained the Ashes with a narrow win in the second of the one dayers. They held on for a three-run victory at the Rose Bowl in Southampton, giving them the points to claim the Ashes. In entertainment news, singer and actress Jane Birkin has died in Paris at age 76. She gave her name to the luxury Hermes handbag and had a 1969 hit. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Oui, je t'aime. Elon Musk has revealed Twitter has lost half of its advertising revenue. The billionaire bought the social media platform for $44 billion last October and says they're still in a negative cash flow. And Ariana Grande has joined Andrew Garfield and Tom Hiddleston in the crowd at Wimbledon. The singer is currently residing in the UK for the filming of Wicked. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.